What up YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So on tonight's episode, we are getting right into building the Flatty's new engine. Right here in the background, you see the new U 6.7 liter crank. I have my machine shop get it all polished up because in the last video you've seen where it was kind of rusty, has some service rust on it. So being that's a 6.7 liter Cummins crankshaft, it has straight cut gears and the straight cut gear has to come off of here and it is put on there very tight. And I don't have a puller here really that's designed to do that so we're going to make something to get this gear off and we've got a, another one over here in the background you can't really see it but uh factory 12 valve crank with a uh helical cut helical cut gear that we are going to pull off that crank and hopefully try to get it put on this one so it's going to be a really long shitty process i'm not looking forward to it but uh we got the welder here and what our plan is is to take this puller right here put her on there and weld these bolts to this gear since we're not using this gear we're not worried about it so i'm gonna fill those up full of weld and the end goal is to get it off there so we'll see but let's get to it so we've got the bolts welded on here we had cut covered up the seal surface so we're not too worried about that so now we're gonna try to get this thing pulled off of here and hit it with the uh hammer at the same time hopefully that will tap or tap 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 roo up off up off up off up off there Gosh dang. Well, our puller isn't gonna work because yeah, that gear is really, really on there. So um, we're gonna have to carry this crank and another crank from the machine shop, I guess, in the morning since this isn't gonna work. So it's gonna put us off a little bit longer, but I guess I can go ahead and get the block prepped. It's got a bunch of spider webs on it sitting over here and I'll get the pistons and rods assembled so they're ready to go. <sighs> get a couple other things done and finish tearing down the old engine, so which is a definitely a solid two hours worth of work. So I guess I'll get to working on that and then uh -oh. just be ready to put everything back together whenever I get the uh, cranks ready to go. Kind of sucks, whatever. Well, I was having problems with the rings because frankly, I don't remember these are gapless rings that are going, <laughs> gapless rings that are going on these pistons. I don't know if the gapless ring goes on the first ring or the second ring spot on the piston. So I got them all boxed back up and in the box and the machine shop actually cut the rings for me they file file the rings down so i'm actually going to run back up there first thing in the morning and have them I'm just gonna drop them off and let them put all the rings on the pistons they know how to do it very well they did them last time so I'll let them do that but in the meantime since i couldn't get that done i went ahead and picked up all the rods from next door at the, uh, the side of the other shop these are shop peen and polished 12 valve rods and they do have the uh much larger arp bolts in them so these are good for you know right around 1200 horsepower and i went ahead and pulled the brand new 13 millimeter p-pump out of the office that was you know very generously sent to us uh, from diesel auto power they want us to test it out and see what they what we think of it um they just started building these about a year ago and they got quite a few of them out but no one's really like generally putting them to the test like they know we will do so they've got us set up with one i've got all of my throttle um linkage moved over to it all my dual pump feed fittings on there and the adjustable front drive pulley uh adjustable front drive gear for the um adjustable timing gear bolted up to it already so this thing's pretty much ready to rock and be stuck on the new engine so that's one thing out of the way and i don't know what i'm going to move on to next um uh, obviously you got to push rods and all that good, good stuff clean but i'm not really too worried about that right now um i'm gonna go ahead and move on to getting this engine 100% torn down, get the cover, billet covers off out so we can get all those cleaned up, get all the uh, billet freeze plugs out of it and stuff like that and get this thing completely torn down. We're going to leave the crank and all that good stuff in there, but um, the rest of it's going to come apart. We're going to have to pull the cam out. Or no, actually we don't have to pull the cam out because I've got the new cam going in there. So really, um, the only thing that has to come off of this is the billet cover. So I actually have another P-pump timing case laying around somewhere, so to eliminate how to tear this thing 100% down. I'm just gonna leave it all together and use the other timing case that I've got. But for now, I'm gonna get the covers, the dampener off of it and all that good stuff, the engine mount, starter and rear housing. I'm probably gonna leave the oil pan on because I don't really have a need to pull the oil pan out of it because I've got um, another oil pan laying around too. So the less thing is I have to pull off this engine and leave, make an absolute huge oil mess of oil everywhere. That's what I'm gonna try to avoid. So let's get these covers off of it. What'd you say, boy? Grail. You address me as Mr. Wilson, Mr. Wh M Master Wilson. <laughs> so we just ran to Dade City and got the crank uh, gear pressed off of the 12 valve one right here. So this is actually the 6.7 gear we pressed off and 
they were a mudda humper to get off because they were on there son um so that's a six seven gear we took off the six seven crank and we had to press the gear off of the uh five nine crank obviously which is actually on the six seven crank now and whenever we got this thing glowing red nearly it came off of the five nine crank after lots of um trying really super duper hard and it actually slid right down onto the six seven crank like effortlessly yeah didn't even need no so split. no didn't have spit on it so it went on there and now that it's cool it probably shrinked but i'm not going to risk it so i'm going to lay a um, couple small tack welds in here little uh you know half inch stitch welds in there to make sure that thing doesn't go anywhere we still have plenty of room because the seal rides way up here on the crank so not worried about that but so all the craziest crazy stuff happened we were stopped at the machine shop to talk to them about how to put our piston rings on they um i said we need some nitrous and do you have any used nitrous bottles i actually sold the ones that i had two of them that i had went to australia and the two that i had went to one of my buddies that need them for his mustang they actually just bought them from me so my flatbed as most of you know goes through a stupid amount of nitrous like a 20 pound bottle every like seven to ten minutes when you're on it and playing with it a lot so i'm like i need something bigger he says, well, I just bought this mother bottle for a hundred bucks and it's full of nitrous. So I'm like, hell yeah, brother. So mother bottle holds, how much you say? 50 pounds? Well, it's 50 pounds. You know, it's gotta be more than that. You know, the nitrous bottles that I use, I don't know, it holds a metric piss load, a lot of nitrous. And I know it's like 200 bucks to fill it up. So we bought a freaking mother <laughs> bottle that weighs like a lot of pounds because i can't pick it i'm humping it but it weighs a shit ton so we're gonna take him out in this baby right on the flatbed and uh we got some longer gas line to go to and everything so we're gonna have a mother bottle on the flatbed if that ain't badass i know no one has ever done that because i don't think it's legal but uh fuck it we're gonna do it so we got the mother bottle we're gonna roll that inside the shop for now and then actually picked up some stuff to build a sway bar for the flatbed so we're going to um test fit that stuff and call them with a the measurement so they can go ahead and get me the rest of the parts we need and uh we're gonna make some stuff happen with this bad girl so y'all hold tight and we got the cranks done so we're gonna go put those in the shop and i'm gonna start putting my motor together here momentarily well it is like two o'clock so i'm gonna go grab some lunch um i still am gonna be getting in there and doing the engine i have a chance but super busy but jared with sinflow diesel make sure you guys go check out his youtube channel and subscribe he's about to post some really good videos in the next couple days uh, is here to pick me up in his twin turbo 06 Dodge. We're gonna go grab some lunch, so here we go. So Jared and I have made it back to the shop. I've got my block here. I've taken some Scotch Brite to all the crank journals and got them all cleaned up. And I've got most of the uh, main caps clean. We'll do those one at a time. I've got my cylinder bores all clean. I'm gonna work on cleaning out all of the uh, cam cam journals. Excuse me, I got the hiccups for some reason. Uh, gonna clean all the cam journals up now and then get all the uh lifter uh bores all cleaned up and i've got some excuse the me mess i know it's dirty but everything will be clean before it goes in the engine i've got some hamilton lifters i've had for like three years i'm finally going to put them to use inside this engine so we're going to get those oiled up and shove them down in here before we put the crank in it and then i'm gonna get my main bearings put in and get the crank set in it so um i'm gonna find some assembly lube somewhere around here i think i've got some somewhere maybe maybe if not if i just use engine oil because we're gonna be starting this thing up literally in the next couple days and uh get these lifters stuffed in there and get some crank bearings put in there and get get this thing going oh my goodness these hiccups suck ah i gotta find some lube well according to jared i spit shine my tappets and just shoved them down in their holes a little bit of spit never hurt nobody um they are all in there as you can see a little bit of dirt and grit never hurt nobody spider webs so they are in there we're gonna get some crank bearings set down in the uh crank journals now but i have to weld my crank gear on first like i spoke of that um so we're gonna get the crank bearings in here go weld the crank set in here and maybe get a torque down and make sure she spins if she spins we're good and then uh throw some pistons in it and move on from there so someone decided to show up the shop he hasn't made an appearance on the channel it is the bradford Bradford Grifford. His transmission will be here maybe Monday for his truck. I'm gonna give it two weeks before he royally just destroys it. So yeah, that'll be happening. But 
I've been talking about getting the crankshaft and my truck together, the engine together all freaking day. It's been the whole goal. I literally went around, got the crank gear pressed on. I didn't get it welded, but all this comes down to, I thought I could have swore on my life that I had crank bearings. I've got rod bearings right up there in those Cummins boxes and some cheap rebuild kit right here that I thought I had bearings in it. And I have like zero crank bearings. I've got crank bearings for uh 10 under crank that's been cut 10 under but nothing that i actually freaking need so our blocks all clean as you just seen a minute ago i got the lifters put in there it's all ready to go and all the stuff's kind of slung out i'll clean it as i go to put it on the engine i even thought about um pulling the crank bearings out of the old motor and reusing those but jared kind of just slapped me on the back of the head and said don't do that if he wasn't here i probably would have done it i might do it after he leaves i don't know but uh tomorrow morning <laughs> tomorrow morning i guess i'm gonna get on the phone and i know someone in tampa has to have crankshaft bearings for cummins because they are literally all the same from 89 to all the way to current all the cummins crankshaft bearings are all the exact same so with that being said there's really nothing else left to do on this video we did get Chaz's truck dry shaft put in it and get it started up with that 6 b manual just took it for a sweet test drive and it rips um we do have to get the smarty file loaded onto it convert the computer to a manual transmission um so probably in the next video you guys are gonna see us ripping that around all done um but for sure you're gonna see the flatty engine go together because it is killing me and we have to be at the event on saturday so flatty engine is going together next video for 110 percent um i did get the head picked up from the machine shop they've got the valves all put in it as you can see, those Hamilton titanium keepers and retainers and beehive valve springs. This thing's all cut for fire rings. So, head checked off the list, ready to go. Going to finish putting this thing together tomorrow and then hopefully go on the truck tomorrow night or Friday. Rob's race truck is done. We just have to put the tires and wheels on it. He's coming to check it out tomorrow um, around noon. So, I've got to go home and get some sleep so I can get up here and um, talk to him for a couple hours and yeah so i think my brother just showed up what open the door the doggos are here what is it weenies what are you doing jed jibber jibbers you're so clean i don't think a lot of people have seen the weenies yet but here's the weenies oh you full fatso oh he's a nut we're not gonna let him run around the shop because he'll get dirty he'll get deer tay there we go. Put both of them in the office for now. But, uh, yep. Flatty engine's getting put off for another day. Kind of sucks. Well, boys and girls, that's pretty much a wrap for tonight's video. Today's video, I know it was like, oh my God, gonna be cool and fun. And then like super duper uneventful, which is really shitty. And I really apologize about that. But I'm like dead ass tired. Um, the wheels here, the Brodo metals are pretty sick, actually. Are going on Rob's truck. Um in the morning then he's gonna come check it out so you're gonna get to meet rob and check on we're gonna check on his dually the one i built and then i swear to gosh dad dang it it is time to put the flatty motor together dead ass it's gonna happen so um hope you guys like the video make sure you like drop a comment down below subscribe for new the channel because we have got some of the craziest shit coming at you so get ready um so yeah drop comments down below guys i like seeing all these input i'm trying to reply back to as many as i can i'm going to um, especially, um, I'm going to get better at replying back to everyone's comments as best as possible. So if you ever have any questions, drop a comment down below. And, uh, whew, sorry. Florida can't make up his mind. It's like cool in the morning, then it's like 100 degrees during the day. And it sucks. It like destroys my sinuses. But anyhow, like, drop a comment down below, and smash that subscribe button. And I hope you can't wait to see that huge mother bottle of nitrous mounted up to the flat. It's going to be sick. Peace.